or to use the NStudio X Splat addition to the NX workspaces by Narwhal. So Narwhal NX, NX workspaces are here. Uh, you should be fairly familiar with what it is. It is essentially a monorepo setup for developing an Angular, React, uh, Nest.js, and all kinds of different uh, uh, Node.js frameworks. Okay, so basically, first things first, we need to make sure that we have a node set up on our system. Uh, over here, I have a long-term solution set up on my machine. So I am on Ubuntu 18.04, and right now if I go to terminal and type in node-version, uh, we're going to see 12.18.3, which is the long-term uh, solution long-term release for Node.js. Okay, so once I have that, next thing to do is to go to the nstudio.io website and then switch to xplat. So that's nstudio.io slash xplat. And here we have the start instructions. Now this uh, framework is quite a bit under development and it follows uh, in the wake of uh, uh, Narwhal NX workspaces. Which means that whenever the Narwhal NX, like first off, whenever Angular updates to, for example, next version, so from version 9 to 10, like it happened recently, then the NX gets updated soon after that. And then after that, uh, NStudio gets updated as well. So sometimes there are certain things that need to be added on to make it work, uh, which you will see as I continue working on this. Okay. We need, to, first of all, to create the NX workspace, but we need to know which release it is. So I just went to the NX workspaces releases on GitHub over here, Narwhal NX, and then their latest release is 10.06, 10.0.6. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here. Actually, I need this command here. Let's go into a terminal here. Uh, first off, I'm going to switch into the folder that I'm going to be making the project in, uh, the workspace. So I'm going to do cd dev slash x actually wait. So this, uh, I made this folder specifically for this. And now in here I'm going to basically set up my workspace. the version. I prefer to specify version deliberately because sometimes due to node cache I noticed on my system it would try to install an older version so whenever I specify this it installs exactly what I need and I know what I'm setting up. So I'm going to do to give it some sort of name uh, I'll just call it my workspace. Yeah this is the thing about programmers we always have hard time naming things properly. Okay, let's get that done and wait for this to set up. Okay, so our workspace is pretty much set up. And so if I list my directories in the folder here, we see that I have over here the new folder. Okay, let's go into this folder. This is where our workspace is, no applications yet, nothing like that, uh, but we will try and set something up. And here we come to the first part where we will have to do something custom, which is not in the description here. So as we see, um, actually before we do that, I almost forgot, I need to add this. This is the actual addition of the library for NStudio XSplat, which is actually going to do all the XSplat magic that we will be doing later on. So we have to make sure that we are inside our workspace directory, which we are. We are inside my workspace. And now I'm going to call this npm install. Save dev and Studio XSplat.
Okay, success, we have that installed now. The next thing that we need to do is just to do npm i, just to install anything that may not have been installed while we were working on it. Okay, and at this point, we're going to come up to the part where we have the first issue. The first issue that we have is when we try to actually generate the application. Now, first off, we skipped this part where it says where to install the Narwhal CLI globally because I prefer personally to use a local way of doing things so that each workspace has its own separate uh, setup instead of having a global setup and then uh, sometimes things don't go really well if you have certain different versions mixing up. So we are going to be using the local setup. Okay. To do the local setup, we need to use npx command. So let's go over here. And our command is uh, right below here. It is uh, nx generate app. So we need to do npx nx generate app. And I'm going to be generating an uh, Angular application in this case. So I'm going to start this up. I'm going to call it an app. I'm going to call it uh, ng uh, toot app. It's going to be a web application. These are all the different setups that you can use Electron, Ionic, React. Um, I'm going to be using Angular, and Angular is actually hidden under web. Continue. Set up routing. Yes, I want routing. Uh, use Angular. For the web application, yes, I do. Xplot supporting architecture, yes. Now it's going to install packages, and you will see the first error that we're going to run into. Depending on your internet connection, this uh, setup installation of packages can take some time. Uh, I'm going to continue with this. In which directory should the app be generated? I'll just press Enter to skip this, uh, select SCSS for my uh, styles. And this is where the error comes up. And this is something that a lot of people have been running into recently. Uh, this may not be the case in the future. So uh, at first try to set this thing up like this without doing any kind of additional work. Uh, and maybe you it will just go through in the future. But for now, we have to do something extra. So I'm going to list this. We need to create another file in here. I'm going to actually clear this uh, and list it again. So the problem is that the previous version of the XSplat architecture was designed to work with tsconfig.json file. But uh, now that NX has been updated, they switched it to using tsconfig.base.json. So we will basically do a little hack and we will set up our own tsconfig, which is going to extend from this tsconfig base. So on Linux, on Windows, you can just create another text file with a JSON format. On Linux, I'm just going to do a nano tsconfig.json. And now I just need to grab some code, which I made earlier. That's it. That's all I need. Basically, just extend from tsconfig base JSON file. Uh, I'm going to save here. Close it. So now, if I do, this is our file now. That's all we need in order to try and set up our application again. Let's do this then. And next, generate app and px and next generate app like what were we calling this uh ng toot tutorial okay actually yeah ng tutorial that's fine I'm going to set up as a web app with what okay that's fine 
actually it's gonna I, I well I got confused I thought it was gonna it was supposed to ask me angular right away but it first asked me about routing so that's fine anyway angular expect supporting architecture yes and now all the packages were already installed before so that's fine now in which directory I'll just gonna press enter uh, choose a CSS for SAS and now we're gonna continue and install this whole thing and it's gonna work fine okay so this has taken a few minutes depending on your internet connection it may go faster or slower um, but it may take a few minutes so be patient for the setup uh, basically our angular project has been set up now at this point the next thing that we need to do is just to do npmy to make sure that everything else that may have not have been installed is going to get installed now and this sometimes happens especially in the beginning when you're just starting up the workspace. Okay, so after a few more minutes of installation, as you can see, there's a bunch of stuff that had to be done by the NPM installer, including the setup of uh, Cypress package for end-to-end -end testing uh, we are basically now done although I think uh, that in this case our TypeScript may be of a wrong version but we're going to try and run our uh, angular application now for that let's take a look at the packages.json what we're looking for is this thing right here this is uh, command that is used to start our development server to run this what we need is um, npm run and then we insert this string and enter and let's see if the TypeScript library is compatible or not yeah as you can see the TypeScript library isn't compatible essentially what we need is we need uh, less than version 3.9 but uh, right now with a new version of NX uh, version, which is, uh, let's see, where is it? Where is it? Where are you? 3.9.3 .3 has been installed. So we are going to edit this uh, dev dependency and set it to version 3.8.0 with the tilde sign so that it can go up to whatever digit in the last spot that it wants to in the semantic versioning. So control C. Nano package.json. Okay. Where are you? Dev dependency. Okay. Am I blind? Oh, there it is. We're going to set it to 3.8. Point zero, and we're going to leave this as is, this symbol here, so that the last digit can go as high as it needs to go. Okay, let's save it, exit, run npmi again, npmi. Okay, this time it's a lot faster because it only had to do to deal with one package and that should be now our TypeScript version 8 point something so let's see if I do this TypeScript let's see what we got we got version 3.8.3 so you see that tilde sign is basically allowing this to go as high as you need okay we're done here next let's try and run our angular
successful compilation should be on uh, localhost 4200. Let's grab this address, go back in here, and go into localhost 4200. And here, here we are. This is our Angular with Narwhal extensions and XSplat template. And from here we can start development of our Angular project, which we will be doing some other time. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, as I will be continuing to do more tutorials like this. And have yourself a good day. Bye.